So basically, the other day, me and Jennifer Connolly were out having some tea. The year, you know, was about, oh, I think it was, um, 2005 or 2006, I don't know exactly where it was. I was traveling around the world at the time. Anyway, I don't know if she was married at the time because it never really, well, you know, came up. Anyway, me and her are having some coffee. And she had told me that she was indeed, um, horny. Now, me being a gentleman, I had told her that her telling me that was not very good for her vagina healthiness. And she looked confused. You know how women are. They just blurt out words. So I had told her that every woman I have made love with has killed herself soon after once they knew that I was a player and that I cannot be contained. And she had challenged me to a sex off and that is pretty much what happened. We went down to her uh, loft and we knocked the boots, my friend. And I'm talking, we fucked. Not no making love, no, no. Not like all that shit she does in her movies. There is no me, you know, caressing her hair, telling her how beautiful she looks in the wind light. Nope. Nope, nope. We didn't even have sex. You know, sex as you know, there may be a blowjob here. I may lick her down there. No, no, this is like fucking nine inch nail shit, man. So I just grabbed that hair and just hammered that shit, dog. Hammered it, hammered it, hammered it, hammered it, hammered it. And then I couldn't come, right? It, it had been like an hour or some shit. Okay, okay, maybe 45 minutes. Okay, okay. And I couldn't come, right? And then she went down on her knees and shit, and she started to know the blow and shit, right? Then she stuck her fucking a finger in my butt. It must have been her middle finger. Hit my prostate, and I just exploded in her mouth, man. It wasn't over. It wasn't over. I was famished. I needed to catch my breath. But this bitch, no, no. She wasn't done yet, man. She was not done yet. She hopped on me, and I hadn't even finished, you know, uh, you know, recovering. And she was just riding that shit, dog. Riding that shit like crazy, man. Like crazy shit. Like crazy shit. And I don't know what else I can say. We just fucked hard, man. Fucked hard. So we're taking like a little bit of a breather. A breather. And, you know, I, I'm drinking some Gatorade because this bitch is wearing me out, man. I, I am just relaxed, right? And then... Her fucking, like, boyfriend at the time comes into the room and starts asking her questions. And she's fucking naked, man. She's, like, dirty sexy, man. She's got cum in her hair and shit. And she's just having an argument with him. And then he's, like, crying and shit. And then we fuck right, um, right there. And she asked him if she wanted to come and join us, right? And I'm sitting there like, I've never, I've never done that. I've never done the whole woman in the middle thing, man. I'm not, I'm not, you know, you know, she's, she's not like the white inside of an Oreo cookie. You know, I, I didn't, you know, one cock to the party kind of shit. But no, 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 it wasn't that kind of party, man. Her boyfriend was bisexual, dog. And I was sitting there like, fuck, man. I really want to finish fucking Jennifer Connelly, but I just, I, I went ahead and did it. I, you know, I let him have some fun, you know, and we, let's just say I understand, um, the gay agenda and, um, you know, YMCA and, um, all, all that and, you know, they can marry now. Gay people can marry. I've changed, I've changed on, on that. And after that, we just all had tea. And, you know, we were pretty cool after that and everything was good. And, you know, after that, uh, we just drank, went to the movies, went to a ball. And uh, we just kind of lost touch, you know. But hey, that's, that's the life when you fuck Jennifer Connelly, you know. Sometimes you get fucked by another man. Happens.